sure we count down 10 videos with a common theme. It's your two favorite people in the world, Phoebe and Josh. Ship name, Fosh. You made it up. <laughs> Did you know that? Well, I didn't know we made it up, but I knew that no, somebody made, made it up. No, they made it up. Did they? They made it up. Did they? Okay, back by popular demand, Josh Ramsey is here to co-host an episode of today's top 10. The long weekend is coming up, and I know a lot of you at home are gonna be hitting up the house party, so we're counting down the top 10 house party videos. Color me excited. You, color, look at your hair, it's so bright today. Did you just do it this morning? Uh, no, but you know, I try to, I try and look good for you, Phoebe. You know, oh. I, get, I get some nervous around you, and I just, you know, I just don't want to look my best. Oh my god, okay. What are you doing this weekend? It's Easter, are you gonna have like an Easter egg hunt or anything? I don't know, when I was a kid, I never really understood, how did it go from like, I wasn't really raised, raised like religious, so I don't really understand how like, guy died, comes back to life, magical rabbit -ling, chocolate eggs, <laughs> and, but I like, but I mean chocolate's awesome, so I'll be celebrating chocolate. <laughs> okay, have a nice chocolate long weekend. Okay, we'll be asking you questions all show, of course. What is the first one? What is the first question? The first question oh, is... I'll tell you what the first question is. Thanks to Josh. Hey, I'm a professional here, okay? <laughs> what is your favorite house party experience? Yeah, what's the craziest house, house party experience you've ever had? Are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to them. Oh, at okay, TV Dykstra, at Josh Ramsey with the hashtag today's top 10. Hashtag Bosch, because I want it to trend, okay? So do that. <laughs> We're gonna get into it right now. Tegan and Sarah uh, throwing a wicked karaoke party. Do you karaoke? I karaoke hard, man. Are you kidding me? I was like, you came to the pros. You wanna know about the last time I went to karaoke? I do, yeah. I went to karaoke, and me and Nick Pasut, who's Carly Rae Jepsen's drummer, mm -hmm. got up on stage and sang the love theme from Aladdin, a whole new world. And he did the girl part and I did the guy part. And he was all like, and I was all like, don't you dare close your eyes. It was awesome. <laughs> okay, well think about that while you watch Tina and Sarah right here, it's closer. My name is Kay right there <laughs> with strangers. Uh, I was gonna talk about how creepy the mannequins were in that video, but now creepier things are <laughs> happening. What? It's a game, you're supposed to stay up with it. You're not supposed to poke people in the face when you do it. I'm such a good host. Okay. We're moving on right now to Kesha in at number eight with TikTok. Uh, you see this video, what do you what do you think? She's something. I mean, she's enjoyed a few adult beverages in her time, you know? And she brushed her teeth with them in the morning. Yeah, I mean, that can't promote good, you know, dental hygiene <laughs> at the very least, um, you know. Have you ever gone to any, would you go to one of Kesha's parties? Uh, Would you go to one of Kesha's parties if it was the one where it had the unicorn yeah, shooting lasers with rainbows saying. coming out? I mean, yeah. I want to go to that party. As long as James Vanderbeek isn't there. <laughs> Kesha right here with TikTok. <laughs> Kesha right there with TikTok. Yeah. Yes. Don't you want to party now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You've been tweeting us, letting us know what your craziest house party experience have been. Your tweets have been coming up. Crazy people at home, eh? What have they been doing? You guys and your crazy shenanigans. <laughs> have you ever been to a crazy house party, Josh? I've been to many, a lot of which we can't discuss on television. Yeah. Um, recently I did, uh, I have a hot tub on my roof and I filled it with, with bubble bath. Uh, by the way, never do that. Never do that. <laughs> because it's, it's one of those things where when you do it, you're like, best idea ever! And then right after it, you're like the next day, you're like, worst idea ever! Because then you have to deal with cleaning it up. But the last time we had that, I guess the guys next door were having a party too. And I was already sleeping and at nine in the morning, they came flying through my fence and like through the fence and like trashed all of upstairs. And I wasn't even there, but I still had to deal with it. Wow. Learn from this, kids. Never party. <laughs> That's crazy. Come back. We'll be here hanging out all hour. Today's top ten. Welcome back to today's top ten. Uh, the long weekend is coming up, so tonight we're counting down our top ten favorite house party videos. Thank you for real though for being here tonight because they love when you come co-host. I well, don't thanks, like man. when you're here, but they like. She hates you. it. She hates it. <laughs> it's all for you. Actually, off camera, Phoebe and I loathe each other. <laughs> Um, so we have heard, we've heard about, you know, your awesome house party experiences. So we want you to tweet us, what do you, th what's that one thing that makes a house party just unbelievable? And uh, you can tweet your answers to at Phoebe Dykstra, no, no. or uh, at Josh Ramsey, well, with the hashtag today's top 10. Yes, that's right. Okay, we're gonna get to our number seven video right now. It comes from Taylor Swift, it is 22. Oh my God! Oh, it's so 
bank account and fun. We're just, we're girls and we're 22 and I just oh my love God. it. Pillow oh fight. my God, let's get in a pillow fight. But usually oh. when I get into a pillow fight, I like to be in my underwear and talk oh about God. boys. <laughs> You've been tweeting us, letting us know what makes a wicked house party for you. Are you mad? No. For you, what makes a wicked house party? What makes a wicked house party? A good party crasher. I mean, I remember having a party years ago and uh, there was a guy that just showed up who was Australian. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew who he was. He wasn't there with anybody. At one point, he looked at me with an adult beverage in his hand and was like, all right, mate, you ready for this one? One, two, three. And then he just threw the drink right behind him all over the wall. And then he looked at me and was like, don't worry, it's not real magic. What? <laughs> anyway, he was the MVP for that party. He also put a pie in the oven that was already cooked and put it on like 400 degrees for like three hours and the whole house was full of smoke. Anyway, unbelievable. <laughs> Alrighty, come back when you do come back. We are going to a house party, uh, actually a mansion party. To mansion party. To bro down with our crew. Oh, I love broing down. Ten. Today's top ten. Hey, welcome back to today's top ten. We are counting down our favorite party videos, trying to get you ready for the long weekend and the parties that I just know you're going to be getting into. All the videos are based on the highest amount of YouTube views, so. Deal with that, Phoebe. <laughs> okay, we want to know from you at home, if you go to a house party and your celebrity crush shows up, how do you act? What do you do? Uh, at Phoebe Dykstra, yeah. at Josh Ramsey, with the hashtag face top 10 and hashtag Bosch, because we want to get trending. Wow. Okay. What would you do if your celebrity crush showed up? I'd be like, oh my god, Phoebe Dykstra. <laughs> say my face would start sweating because that's what's happening right now. <laughs> Where are each other celebrity crushes? Ah, cool. Okay, people at home are like, that's really annoying. Uh, Drake right now is partying in a villa in the Dominican. What's with these rappers? Everywhere they go, they got like a crew of people, like a crew of like 30 people. Yeah. What's with that and where's your crew? Well, my crew is actually like mostly senior citizens and <laughs> um, and like, uh, you know those like big lazy boy recliners, but they've been <laughs> they've been modified so that there are also like, you know, motorized carts. So it's like the side comes up, they've got a joystick and they can just kind of cruise around and the other side, you know, they got a cold one. You know what I mean? And then we get together and we play Mahjong. <laughs> oh my God, okay. <laughs> Start from the Knuckle, what up? And Advice so from really, Josh Ramsey. I'm the one who makes the party out of control. <laughs> Please come back. We'll be hanging out. We got our top three videos, including our throwback. Today's top ten. We are back counting down our top ten favorite house part. What are you doing? Well, I'm just you. You asked me right before we were recording <laughs> if I was smiling, and then I was like, "Yes, I am." And then I decided to drop it because I thought it was stupid. And now here we are, and it's in the show, and it happened. Let's keep going. We're counting down our top 10 favorite house party videos. Keep tweeting us your questions for Josh. He, look at it, he's, he's out of control. He's like, I want to answer these fan questions, Phoebe. I can't wait to answer these fan questions, Phoebe. <laughs> I'm just freaking out. Keep tweeting us at Phoebe Dykstra, at Josh Ramsey with the hashtag today's top 10. And keep hashtagging Bosch, because it's trending. It's trending. <laughs> oh, good. Oh my gosh, we're awesome. Okay, if you were to go to a house party, what song would you request? Uh, what song would I, re well, uh, is my, let, let's say that there's a girl there who I'm like, <gasps> if, I'm, if there's one of those there, then then you know, uh, I, really I'm gonna like, I'm gonna put on, I'm gonna wanna recreate like a cheesy scene in like a movie. So I'm probably gonna request it like, I wanna know what love is. And I'm gonna walk up in slow-mo as if it's in slow motion. I want you to show and I'm gonna get a fan to just slowly like blow my hair, you know what I mean? That's how you take over a party. Or how you ruin a party. <laughs> okay, I assumed a lot of people would be requesting this next one right here. It's LMFAO. Sorry for party rocking and sorry on behalf of uh, Josh Ramsey <laughs> existing. Color me offended. Your fan questions have been coming in and I have gathered a few. Huh. So you know what I love about your fans? Because they tweet me a lot. Okay. They got the funniest questions for you oh, all no. the time. <laughs> oh, so no. I wanted to at least uh, answer, answer one of the funny ones. Okay. Suzanne Pritchard uh, wants to know, if you could marry any Disney princess, who would it be and why? Um. Wow, that's a tough one. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Ariel is pretty hot and you know, I mean, she's got the whole seashell thing happening, but you know, she's also half fish, so. 
know, I'm not too down with that. Maybe, I mean, Jasmine likes to get it done. She's a she's a go she's a go getter. Belle is actually the go getter. I think I'd go with Belle. You know. Maybe you could just with. have all of them. Well, I mean, that's more of a harem that we're talking about <laughs> now. And I don't I don't know if uh, Canada allows polygamy, but if possible, I will take all of the Disney princesses, please. All right, there you go. I have a question for you and uh, your band, Marina's Trench. Uh, when can we uh, be expecting another masterpiece, aka an album? Oh geez, uh, I'm working on one. I'm starting to write some songs for one. I don't know. We'll see how we'll see how quickly I can do it. But I am working on it. I can say that. Can you fulfill my Mariana's trench dream? Because everyone knows I'm a trencher. I got I got. <laughs> that's a that's a broad tattooed. What, what are we? Oh yeah, you did. That's she's got a Mariana's tattoo right there. That's crazy. But I think that you need to do like some sort of acoustic album. You want me to do an acoustic record? Um, yeah, the problem is just like, when are we gonna have time to do that? But yeah, that would be fun. And maybe, maybe when you're just, like old, when you're like 80. When I'm 80, <laughs> when I, so, you gotta wait a couple years, kids. <laughs> but when I'm 80 years old, acoustic okay, record coming. Okay, please make that happen. Featuring Phoebe Dykstra on the, how's your cowbell skills? <laughs> boom, 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 doesn't sound like that. Actually, you know what, we are working on a new song that actually does have a cowbell in it, and we were saying how funny it would be to do like, uh, to do like a, a contest, like a fan contest, where like you get to come up on stage and play the cowbell, yeah. and making people send in audition videos, so they're just like ding, 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 and I love the idea of creating like hundreds of YouTube videos that are just that. <laughs> you should do that. Yeah. Also, people have been tweeting. Uh, last week, we were tweeting back and forth about how stunning you would look in a thong. I think you oh, made all of yeah. your Twitter followers. Uh, feel a little bit queasy, so I think nah. you need to prove to us how stunning you would look in a thong. <laughs> well, uh, hang on. First of all, is that used? Because <laughs> is this used? Clean, brand new. Oh. <laughs> the problem is, I mean, the pro well, there's. Uh, where do you put your legs? First of all, how does this work? I can help you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you want to just over my <laughs> pants? I mean, yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we may as well do that, right? I mean. I ain't got nothing better to do than to put on this thong over top of my pants. You better look stunning, because the they've front? expected. Well, see, usually what I do, here's, here's a helpful tip, kids. When you wear a thong, if you're a boy, it's better to wear it backwards. So, you know what I mean? I, I'm going to need some time to get into this, but maybe okay. we'll do this after. Okay, we'll go to commercial break right now. Coming up after the break, we've got our number one video, and Josh is going to put a thong on. <laughs> Welcome back to today's top 10, where we are counting down the best house party videos of all time, or at least the ones with the most YouTube views. That's right. I want to know from you, if you could from be me? invited to any of the house parties that we showed tonight, which one would you want to go to? As, assuming that I couldn't go into the movie Project X, um, I guess I would have to choose, can I choose Aaron's house by Aaron Carter. I know we didn't put oh. it in the. I know we didn't put it in the countdown, but you know it is. Yeah, Aaron's party. I think close to my heart. I don't know. Uh, maybe TikTok. I mean, I know we didn't put Blow in the in there, the Kesha video. But it, again, if I could go to somewhere, I would definitely want to go to the house party that featured James Van Der Beek and unicorns and laser guns. I so you could beat him up. No, just I mean, I just I've always wanted to go to a uh, catered affair and then have a lot of good wine and cheese. <laughs> okay. Unicorns are known for their wine, wine and cheese. I think I would want to go to this one because Mr. Justin Bieber is there. Ooh. One time our throwback is in at number one. I know you're getting hot too thinking about Justin Bieber, aren't you? He gets me so steamy. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out tonight. Thanks for having me. I love when you co-host. It's very fun. It's so much fun. <laughs> Are you going to any house parties this weekend? Uh, no, I'm stuck on a tour bus, but I'm playing a lot of shows and I guess that's my own way of doing parties. So yeah. 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 That's good times anyway. If you at home are going to any house parties this weekend, be safe, don't drink and drive, love each other, and if you want to stay home and hang out with your cat, uh, that's okay too. It's not loserish. Loserish. It's cool. Any advisories? Um yeah, I mean, if you go to the party, don't bring your cat because <laughs> I mean, they're known for drinking way too much milk. And you know, they get all out of hand, they get into the catnip, you know. Next thing you know, they call over their buddies, buddies, you got 50 cats in the wall, and they're gonna throw, get them let's out just of the throw wall. the video. Okay, okay. You want to throw it? Yeah. What is it? One time. Oh, like I get to throw to it one time or the song's called One Time? Both. Okay, well one time I'm going to throw to the Justin Bieber video for, what's it called again? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>